Yo, Sanjay Uche here, people. More spoilers for Dragon Ball Super are out, and as promised yesterday, I'm here to tell you about them. So, as usual, if you don't want to be spoiled, you can click off or something, I don't know. So, these will be spoilers for episodes 111 to 114, episode titles and episode descriptions in, well, not in full, but just a general overview of the episode, essentially, in terms of the events. Of course, credit goes to Herms98 on Twitter, as usual. So... Let's get into it without further ado, I guess. Um, eh. Anyway, so episode 111, Extreme Battle of Another Dimension, Hit vs. Jiren, which I did a video on this yesterday, but whatever, October 15th. So after knocking back the Genki Dama fired by Universe 7 Son Goku, Universe 11's Jiren faces off against Universe 6's Hit. Hit takes Jiren's attack on purpose and it thinks of a strategy. <laughs> Sorry. Hit then counters Jiren with his time skip, but it's of absolutely no effect. Episode 112, A Saiyan's Pledge, Vegeta's Resolve, October 22. So, Universe 6's Kaba battles Universe 4's Mona, or Mona, so that the powerful, the more powerful Khalifa and Kale will be able to challenge strong enemies in peak condition. Pushed back by Mona's attack, Kaba is almost knocked out of bounds, by, but is saved by Universe 7's Vegeta. Vegeta tells his disciple Kaba to fight as a Saiyan without regrets. Of course, episode 113, gleefully, fighting Maniac Saiyans battle once more, October 29th. Universe 3 warriors go after Goku, who used up his stamina fighting Jiren, but Khalifa stops them and tells Goku to fight her. Goku readily agrees, but lacking his stamina to become Super Saiyan, he aims to increase his stamina while fighting. And episode 114, last but not least, Ghastly, explosive birth of a new super warrior, November 5th. As Universe 6's Kale joins Khalifa to fight Goku, the tension rises, rises as she is overwhelmed by Goku's attacks. She then transforms into a berserker super saiyan, but... Alright, so... It's that point in the video, the spoiler video now, where I tend to give my opinion, my thoughts, and my speculation, so... Let's go into it. Starting back with episode 111, so we have a bit more details here. So it is confirmed that Jiren does not bat the spirit bomb towards Goku. So, like, as the days go by, as we get closer to the one hour special, it seems a theory of <clears throat> Goku being hit by the spirit bomb is true, and that may be the secret to his, I guess, new form or his mastery of self movement. If, if you've seen the spoilers, Yesterday, the spoiler video I did yesterday. So, there's that. And, of course, we have hit using the time skip against Jiren, but with no effect. So, I know, I'm interpreting it as this. <sighs> like, I know the anime and the manga are two different continuities, essentially, in their own take on Toriyama's script or outline. But I'm going to use a bit of manga logic here. I would assume, I'm going to speculate, that the reason why Hit's time skip doesn't work on Jiren is because he's too powerful. So for those of you who don't know, in the manga, Hit's time skip, he can't increase the time. Well, if I'm not mistaken, but generally it works like this. It usually works on people that are as strong as Hit are weaker than him, like, effectively speaking. The stronger you, the more, the stronger you are than Hit, the less time he can use the time skip on you for so probably if you're twice as strong you may can you maybe can hold a time skip for like 0 0.05 seconds instead of 0 0.1 you get the idea so there's that so i know a lot of people for episode 112 are probably going to be a bit angry that vegeta saves kaba because the whole character saving other characters is <sighs> So take for instance Khalifa and Kale. Goku could have knocked them out a long time ago. So there's that. So I know from a like a logic perspective, a lot of people are gonna have a problem with that. Um of course it should be interesting to see how Kaba performs when he's going all out, I suppose, but and the interactions between Kaba and Vegeta in the episode. That that should be a point of interest. But it doesn't seem like Vegeta will be fine Jiren like um a lot of people thought well based on this description at least so there's that and for those of though you do i guess who have their doubts yes khalifa and kill are stronger than gaba so 
Yeah. <clears throat> of course, the interesting part, episode 113, the gleefully fighting Maniac Saints battle once more, seems to be going to be a Goku and Khalifa center centric episode, of course. And it, it's kind of starting to give me or make me feel more comfortable with my speculation that we might end off with a cliffhanger where Goku's new form is concerned. You know what I was saying yesterday, that like Goku gets completely beaten and then at the end he might rise up with his new form, but you know, get knocked out, like he loses consciousness as he gets his new form before he gets to master his master as well, I guess he uses his master of self-movement. And then he recovers, and then later on fights Jiren again with the new form. So I'm starting to think that, hey, we're just going to be left in a cliffhanger with a new form. And we might see for like a minute or two, and then Goku loses consciousness. So that's the way I feel. But the thing I don't understand about this, like Goku fighting Khalifa, you know, to get out of trouble, but I don't, I don't see how fighting is going to help him build up back his stamina. Well, I guess we'll see. Whatever. So, the interesting part for episode 114, the explosive birth of a new super warrior. <clears throat> Let's hope it's not bullshit. Kale, something's going down with her. I don't know what to say. Honestly, it's... It's going to be interesting to see what's going to go on there. Because these universe six scenes, they... Well... There's something else. Obviously, it's bad writing. Obviously, it's stupid writing. But I'm still interested to see what's going to happen with episode 114. Is it that she goes berserk as Super Saiyan, but um, she goes Super Saiyan 2 instead? She goes Super Saiyan 3? Well, what's it going to be? Who knows? Could be anything. Like, they, they could, Toei and Toriyama could put anything on, on screen, I suppose. <laughs> so there's that. But that's all I have for this one, people. Let me know what you think about the spoilers. Um, be sure to subscribe so you can get the latest where spoilers are concerned. Dragon Ball reviews, news, and all that jazz and blues. So, Sanjay Uchiha, and I'll see you in the next one.